You want to be free from anxiety and experience a life of calm, but you struggle with day-to-day -day worry and sometimes even panic. Well, today I'm going to review the medication clonazepam and fill you in on five must-know facts so you can be better informed when deciding whether or not to start this medication. So before we even get into the five must-know facts, I need to real quick cover something that pops up all the time in clinic and is super confusing to a lot of patients. And that's that this medication goes by two different names. Clonazepam is the generic name and Klonopin is the brand name. And what you'll see is that providers will use these names interchangeably when talking about the medication. So don't get confused. So fact number one that I want you to know about is how this medication works. Clonazepam is in the benzodiazepine family and at a basic level, it works by enhancing the inhibitory effects of GABA in certain areas of the brain that are often too excitable. And when we're talking about anxiety in particular, it's thought that the inhibitory effects occur in the amygdala, which is considered to be the fear circuit of the brain. So the more overactive the amygdala, the more anxiety and panic we experience. And clonazepam works to dampen this overdrive in your brain to help calm it down. Make sense? Fact number two about clonazepam is that this medication is FDA approved to treat panic disorder with or without agoraphobia, in addition to various seizure disorders. Some off-label uses include other anxiety disorders, mania and bipolar disorder, acute psychosis, insomnia, and catatonia. Fact number three to know about is how this medication is prescribed. So clonazepam comes in both a tablet form and in a disintegrating wafer. When being used for panic, dosing is generally between 0.5 to 2 mg daily, either as a divided doses or once at bedtime. I'll generally start this medication at around 0.25 mg daily, either scheduled or as an unneeded basis, and then I'll gradually raise it over time until the right dose is found. And my goal is always to find the lowest effective dose and have patients on this medication for the shortest amount of time as possible. Now, a question that I'm frequently asked is how long does it take for this medication to work? Right? You're having a panic attack and understandably you want to take a medication that is going to work quickly. According to the FDA label, clonazepam is rapidly and completely absorbed after oral administration and patients tell me that they start to feel effects within 15 to 30 minutes on average. It reaches its peak effect at around 1 to 4 hours and then its half-life is around 30 to 40 hours, which is considered to be in the intermediate to longer range when you compare it to other benzos on the market. Fact number four that I want you to be aware of are the side effects. According to the FDA label, the most commonly reported side effects include somnolence, depression, abnormal coordination, and ataxia, which is essentially the loss of control of your body movements. Now, there are some big hitter side effects with benzos that I need you to know about. These medications can, one, interfere with cognitive and motor performance. So be careful when considering whether or not to drive after taking these medications. They can lead to impairments and you can get a DUI or DWI if you were to be pulled over. Two, lead to suicidal behavior and ideation. When being studied, those on clonazepam were shown to have approximately double the risk of suicidal thinking or behaviors compared to those who were randomized to placebo. The increased risk was seen as early as one week after starting the medication and persisted for the duration of the treatment. Three, increase the risk of congenital malformations during pregnancy. Four, cause respiratory depression, and this risk is increased if you're taking more medication than prescribed or are taking opioid medications in addition to your benzo. And then five, they can cause dependence, tolerance, and withdrawal. So remember, benzos are scheduled for controlled substances, and drug abuse and dependence is a serious risk, especially in those who are using these medications long term. Remember, the FDA label itself states, the effectiveness of clonopin in long-term use, that is for more than nine weeks, has not been systematically studied in controlled trials. Now, fact number five I want you to know about is that clonazepam should be gradually tapered and discontinued. The reason behind this is that coming off the medication too quickly, especially if you're someone who's been on high doses for long periods of time, puts you at increased risk for withdrawal symptoms. So mild symptoms of withdrawal can include things such as diarrhea, muscle cramping and twitching, decreased appetite, blurred vision, clouded sensorium, and a heightened sense of perception. However, the biggest thing you need to know is that abrupt discontinuation or rapid dosage reduction can produce seizures and life-threatening withdrawal reactions. So we need to taper this medication very slowly. So my approach is to typically decrease the dose by 0.125 to 0.25 milligrams every few days until the medication is completely out of the system. However, I've had patients who have needed much longer dose reduction schedules. So this is very much based on the individual and their tolerability. 
Now, if you're looking to learn more about other benzodiazepines out there, make sure to click that top video.